the next less, uh, the next video that we're doing now is basically when do we use the different methods of uh, salt preparation. Okay, so simple. We will keep it very, very simple. When you are faced with group 1 salt, things that you want, things that are in group 1, example, potassium chloride, lithium nitrate, any metal that is in group 1, we use the method known as titration. Okay. When you are faced with this five insoluble salts, silver chloride, lead chloride, calcium sulfate, lead sulfate, barium sulfate, we use the method known as ionic precipitation. So these five salts, when they do appear, only these five, you use this method known as ionic precipitation. Group one salt, titration. Okay, then what about the rest? In the case of the rest, you use the method of the solids plus acid, excess solids plus a fixed volume of acid. So these are basically the three methods of salt preparation. So go by this principle, group one, the five ionic precipitation, and the rest of them, solid and acid. Okay, let's start with the first one. Using the three methods, okay, if I give you the salt, how would you, which method will you choose? So, potassium nitrate, potassium, group 1. So, I will use the method known as titration. I will use the method known as titration because it's a group 1 salt. Okay, magnesium sulfate, magnesium sulfate is not a group 1. It is also none of the five. So, I will use the method solid plus acid. Okay, look at the next one. Copper chloride is not group 1. At the same time, it's not one of the five. So I will use solid plus acid. When I'm talking about uh, the five, I'm talking about this five here. Okay, copper chloride is none of this five. Magnesium sulfate is none of this five. So it belongs to the others. Okay, the last one, sodium sulfate. Sodium sulfate is a group 1. Sodium is in group 1, it's a group 1 salt. So I will use the method for titration. Okay, next. Calcium sulfate. Now, calcium sulfate is not group 1, but calcium sulfate is one of the five here. So I will use the method known as ionic precipitation. Okay, these two, why not you spend some time and you decide which method I should use. Iron chloride, iron 3 chloride and silver chloride. Iron 3 chloride is not a group one. It's not one of the five, so I will use the method solid plus acid. Silver chloride is not group one, but it is one of the five, so I will use the method known as ionic precipitation. Okay, so from there, that's what we have. Now let's take it further. Now if this is magnesium sulfate, what would, the, what would be the acid that I will use? Sulfate. So I will use sulfuric acid. If this is copper chloride, chloride, I will use hydrochloric acid, HCl. Iron chloride, I will use hydrochloric acid. Okay, let's move back a bit. Now, if this is magnesium sulfate, what will be the solid I can use? Well, there will be a range of solid that you can choose from. I can use magnesium metal plus sulfuric acid. I will get magnesium sulfate plus hydrogen gas. I can use magnesium oxide. I can use magnesium hydroxide or magnesium carbonate. Okay, any one of these four. When you come to the solid, uh, when you come to the salt, copper chloride, copper 2 chloride, what are the solid that I can use? Um, can I use copper? Nope. 
copper cannot be used because copper, silver, platinum does not react with acid. CAP copper, silver, platinum does not react with acid. So I'm going to write it here. Copper, AG and PT have no reaction with acid. So the pure metal itself cannot be used. So how? We will use copper oxide or copper hydroxide, copper 2 hydroxide or you can use copper carbonate. So you can use any of these three. In the case of iron chloride, in the case of iron chloride, this is uh, iron 3 plus, okay, because you get 3 minus. 3 Cl, so you can use iron, iron 3 oxide, iron 3 hydroxide, or iron carbonate. So I'm not going to write that down on space. So that's how you settle the solid and acid part.